I was watching Destin's video about his, uh, you know, the 500 mile an hour golf balls, and when he got to this scene, I had the flashback of all flashbacks of my childhood. Yeah, that's a photo of me around the timeline when this all happened. Uh, I was around eight years old. This is pre-internet days, so, you know, the cool things to do were spread around by word of mouth, kind of like a kid's network. Now, some of these ideas were just downright dangerous, but one idea was if you take a golf ball and cut the cover off of it, cool things will happen. Though I don't remember my father ever playing golf, he did have a set of golf clubs and some old golf balls in there. So a couple friends came over, we grabbed some golf balls, grabbed a hacksaw, and tried to cut the very tough outer cover off these golf balls and try to learn what kind of magic was hiding inside. Now you could probably imagine a group of eight-year-old kids hacksawing away at golf balls, and it's not easy. It took a good hour to cut each one open. Now on top of that, not every golf ball was the same. Some of them worked for this experiment, many didn't. So we cut a lot of golf balls open for nothing. Now I couldn't remember which brand of golf ball was the magic golf ball that would work with this experiment. So I had to buy quite a few old vintage golf balls. These are all around 50 years old. And even if I did happen to get the magic golf ball in this, you know, odd set of golf balls that I bought, you know, there's a good chance that the rubber inside has rotted and I wouldn't be able to recreate this childhood memory of mine. Now even as an adult I had a very difficult time peeling these covers off the same way I did when I was eight years old. And when I was eight I didn't have the proper tools or techniques to peel these covers off. And I remember my hands aching from gripping onto the ball and the saw and tools and stuff. But we had two things in our favor, a lot of time and a lot of determination. For many years golf balls were made just like this. One long piece of rubber band wrapped under tension around a rubber ball in the center. Now even though this golf ball is in pretty good condition inside, the rubber is not really rotted or anything, this is not one of the magic golf balls that I remember as a kid. It's pretty close, but my eight-year-old self would not have been impressed with this. And I certainly wouldn't have toiled for hours to get to this point. So let's try another vintage golf ball. Again, this is a liquid center a uh, vintage golf ball that's probably, you know, again, 50 years old. But instead of using a hacksaw, let's try something a little more modern. The belt sander definitely made the job much easier. I wish I had one of those when I was a kid. Now this may be the magic golf ball, but because it's so old, the rubber inside was a little bit rotted, a little bit sticky, and was not doing what I remember it doing as a kid. Now I mentioned that this was a liquid center golf ball and underneath all the rubber bands is this little rubber ball. We'll cut it open and see if there's anything in it still after so many years. Now some golf balls just had a solid rubber ball in the middle and I think the fancier ones had the liquid core. I have no idea what the liquid's supposed to do but there it is. That's the liquid. It, it looks like water, feels like water, smells like death but it's for some reason it's green so it was a surprise to me that there was still water inside the core of this thing after so many decades and just like when I was a kid if one brand didn't work we'd go on and try a different brand maybe this is the golf ball that makes all that work worthwhile but nope this one was pretty rotten too Another brand, another shimmer of hope. And when you finally found the right golf ball, after spending all those hours cutting golf balls apart, it really was like magic to an eight-year-old. It made a funny sound, it happened really fast, and it was almost like the ball was alive. Now it would seem like the ball would just sit there and not do anything for a while and then just randomly start unwinding itself. It was great entertainment as a child. 
we would throw the ball way up in the air or bounce it off the driveway and it would just randomly unwind itself all of a sudden it was it was very humorous at the time you know but after getting to this point we only had a few minutes of fun until it completely unwound itself and we'd start all over again and finally I found the perfect magic golf ball this one was nearly perfectly preserved without batteries without really any user input the ball would just kind of come to life and it would just randomly drive itself all over the place spinning at great speeds as it unwound Now, as an eight-year-old, I, I didn't discover the magic golf ball, of course. It, kids have been doing this for years, and, um, you know, just that's how you did things back then. You took things apart and opened them up and figured out how they worked or what, what it looked like inside. And through that kid network from kids telling, you know, these stories about, hey, if you take a golf ball and cut it apart, you know, it's pretty neat. You should try it. And that's, that's how we... Uh, you know, did things back then before the internet. And of course, the, the magic golf ball is a lot more fun when you take it outside and see how high you can throw it or how high you can bounce it as the rubber band unravels and leaves a long stream of rubber in its wake. Now, this is just one way of many that we entertained ourselves as kids. We were poor. We didn't know we were poor. We didn't care we were poor. We were happy, and all our friends were in the same boat. But we still managed to keep ourselves entertained and out of trouble and able to do that without really spending any money. Just stealing my dad's golf balls, basically. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Now today, the, the idea of the Magic Golf Ball may not seem very exciting when you're competing with things like uh, Fortnite or something like that. All the effort it took to get to this point of cutting open the ball and going through a lot of balls that didn't work right uh, just may not seem like it was worth the effort but it definitely was when we were a kid and this is one of the best memories I had as a kid believe it or not anyway I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe I evoked some kind of childhood memory you had of some unconventional way of entertaining yourself when you were a kid and that could be anything from making match rockets to tennis ball cannons to uh, making the best paper airplane uh, all these things passed on from kid to kid and not through the internet. Let me know if you have any great stories.